Hey guys, welcome back to another clean with me. Today I'm gonna to be doing some tidying around the house. I had to clean our couch and clean our living room. It was a disaster. So I'm gonna be showing you how I clean my leather couch, which I've shared several times, but in case you are new here, I have a quick and easy way to do that. And I'm gonna be cleaning up a lot of different messes around my house. And I have two new vacuums to share with you in this video. Very excited about these. They are very budget friendly. You guys are gonna really love them. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. But until then, we're gonna be tidying up the kitchen, the living room, and just getting it all done. So if you need some cleaning motivation, then you are in the right place. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is what I call my depression table, the coffee table right there. As you can see, it is, you can't even see the table actually. That is a coffee table under there. <laughs> that is actually an end table. This is a coffee table. But I kind of just went through a little bout of depression, so I found myself sitting right there for about a good week and not really doing a whole lot of cleaning. But today I'm up and we're gonna get started cleaning the house. I'm gonna go ahead and start by throwing all of my throw blankets and throw pillows in the washing machine and wash those. I do not wash the minky blanket with fabric softener or dry it, so I wash it separately. I love that blanket. It was a Christmas gift, very heavy, very, very, very soft, but you have to take really good care of them. So I washed it separately, but while those are washing, I'm gonna go ahead and just tidy up in here, throw away all the trash, wipe everything down and then I'm gonna be scrubbing down our leather couch and I'll show you how to do that Hanky's little toys have so many little pieces to them and we're losing them all of the time. So I have to lift the recliners up and look under there to find stuff and you'll see in a little bit in a couple of clips from now, I opened up the back of the couch and every time we open that up, just stuff falls out. It's so gross, but a little tractor was hidden up in there. Though when we ever get rid of these couches, there will probably be at least 10 toys hidden inside of the cushions, maybe even a remote because that actually gets lost in there a lot too. The little kids had taken the pillows and the blankets and made like activities. I don't even know. They, I, it wasn't a fort. They were like doing gymnastics. They had a big mound of pillows and blankets and they were like doing flips in them. And they took every pillow that they could find, even my decorative ones. So that's what I'm doing now is just putting that all back. And I decided to take this blanket that was in my office and put in here rather than the thicker one that was in this basket. I just felt like this one would look better, but it took me a couple of times to figure it, figure it out, but I got it. But I just moved that thick one to my office chair and put this thinner one here. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up. 
All right, I like to clean my leather couch about once a month, and I'm gonna be using this Eureka cordless vacuum, which stay tuned, I have all the details for that coming up. You guys are gonna definitely wanna hear about it. But I'm using that to vacuum up all of the dog hair and crumbs first, and then I'm gonna show you how I wash them. And it's super simple to do, and it leaves them looking super shiny, which you will see in the after clip. Things must pass, but I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't I'm just getting some hot water in a bowl. I keep this bowl for cleaning purposes, and I'm using some Castile soap. This one is almond scented, but you can get a bunch of different scents. You can find it at Target, that's an easy place, but Amazon probably has it as well. So I just put about that much in there. Can you hear Tucker growling? Would you stop? Please, I think the Amazon truck is here. Just one moment, hold please. So I just put about the amount that I showed you with hot water and then I put a microfiber cloth in there. I am gonna be wearing my rubber gloves today. Just lately I've been preferring to wear them and not get my hands wet because my hands have been very dry in the winter so I just am trying to protect my skin but you don't have to wear rubber gloves. I just do for that reason. So I just mix that up really well and it's not very soapy at all. It does smell really good but the soap helps to not only clean but also condition the leather so you don't wanna dry out your leather and I also side note have my ceiling fans running on high just so that it will help them dry quicker but they dry in literally 60 seconds So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wipe it down with that little mixture that I make and I have the ceiling fans running on high just so that it will dry faster, but it dries in about 60 seconds. And when I'm done, it just looks amazing. It's shiny and clean and it smells good. And that's why I own leather because it's super duper easy to clean and I don't have to stress it with pets and kids. I want to thank Eureka for sponsoring today's video. They have sent me two of their vacuums and I have been using them for a couple of weeks now and I'm excited to tell you guys my thoughts and share with you their features. This is the Eureka Floor Rover. This is a pet vacuum and it has specific tools that they have on board which is very convenient to clean all sorts of areas in your home which I will be showing you a few of my tips and tricks on what I clean with mine but this is a very powerful vacuum. The suction is amazing. It has an automatic nozzle height adjustment so it allows you to move from hardwood floor to carpet without having to bend down and adjust the little nozzle. I know my other vacuum you have to bend down and manually do that so this does that for you. It has easy glide wheels which makes the swivel steering so that you can move it smoothly across all floor types. It actually has a button to choose whether or not you want to have the brush roller rolling or not so you can technically use it on your hardwood floor. The cord is 35 feet long, which is amazing. You can just get so much done without having to stop and replug it in. I love that. And as you can see here, it does an amazing job. We are quickly rolling into spring cleaning and with this vacuum we have all of these accessories that are right on board for you to use. I've been using the dusting tool a lot. It is perfect for window sills. It picks up the dust like you would not believe and it makes cleaning them super duper easy. I think I might even use that on my blinds. It also comes with this little multi-angle adapter and that just makes it easy to clean hard to reach spaces like your ceiling fan or the tops of your doors. 
but you can use it to dust furniture if you want. It made it easy for me to dust my headboard because it's hard for me to reach all the way in the middle and it just picks it up so quickly. And then this picture above our bed was covered in dust and it just came right off using this tool. It has a multi-cyclone filtration system plus a HEPA filter. So it helps trap 99.97% of dust and allergens, which makes it perfect for pet owners like myself. Lastly, it does come with a five-year limited warranty. I love the price point of this vacuum. I love all of the accessories that come with it. It really does do it all, and it is really powerful. So I highly recommend this one if you are looking for a vacuum. Now let's talk about the cordless vacuum. This is the Eureka Rapid Clean Pro. It is cordless. This thing is super light, and guess what? It has lights. We know that I love a vacuum that has lights. It just lights up everything and you can see everything that's there that you need to clean and I just love it. But it has powerful suction. As you can see, this is some examples for you to just see that it for real can suck up anything. All of these real life messes, dog hair, toddler crumbs, all of it. It has up to 40 minutes of run time on the battery and then when it does run out, all you have to do is plug it in and recharge it. It does have a max power and a regular power and you just push a button to control that so it'll obviously last a bit longer if you don't have it on the max suction. It lays down flat so it can go underneath of your furniture and because it's so tiny, it can go up under almost anything and I love that. That way I can vacuum up underneath of my cabinets and stuff because it does get dog hair under there and if you have pets like me, you know dog hair will hide everywhere. So I love that feature. It also has this easy rest feature. They have designed this so that you can just prop it up on your countertop and it will sit there. So if you need to stop for a second and go do something else, you can just prop it up on a cabinet or a countertop and go. It does come with a couple of accessories as well. I did use that crevice tool to clean my couch, but I'm also going to show you how I used the vacuum to clean our stairs. And lastly, this one does come with a one and a half year limited warranty and a 12 month limited battery warranty. So I do really love this. It does have my seal of approval. It's very lightweight and very convenient. I love the lights on it and it just has so many different uses around the house. I will have both of these vacuums linked for you guys in the description box if you are interested. Again, they are super budget friendly and thank you so much Eureka for sponsoring today's video. Kind of simple, kind of wishful about things And you're kind of simple, but like a pistol you fire Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back I am just tidying up in my office area. I actually need to clean out all of my drawers in here. If you saw them, you would probably unsubscribe now. I'm just kidding, but they are so bad. I literally have M&Ms spilled inside of the, one of the drawers. Like they've never been cleaned. Actually, that's a lie. I did organize them once, but it didn't last long. So I need to take everything out and really organize in here. And that is something on my list to do this year. Definitely want to get it done the first half of the year. So I plan to do that soon. It's just one of those things that definitely all my kids need to be in school on that day, or I'm not going to be able to get it done. So that really hasn't happened. It feels like in the last couple of weeks with it being winter and we've had weather days where their home and they've had to cancel school and we've had illness and so it just hasn't worked out yet but it is coming soon when I was in there cleaning I was thinking about that
I have painter tape, painter's tape up on the wall there because I'm trying to plan something that I am doing. I talked about this a little bit in my last video if you watched that, um, but I'm going to be redecorating that area. So I was just trying to envision like something size wise and I figured painter's tape would do it. <laughs> the blue kind of really threw me off so it didn't really help much in the end, but that's why I have painter's tape on the wall. I'm not painting rectangles on my wall. I told you guys I would show you how I use this on the stairs and I love it because all you have to do is pop out that stick part and put the head on the canister and vacuum and it just makes it so easy. So if you have stairs in your house and you need a vacuum for doing that, this one would work great for that as well. And it also works great on carpeted stairs. I did do the basement stairs with it as well. I didn't share that here, but um, if you do have stairs of any type in your home, it works great for that. It was perfect timing because I had ordered these Caldrea countertop sprays on Amazon and they had came while I was filming. I have used these for years. They're kind of like a luxury spray. They're not entirely too expensive. They're more expensive than, you know, your normal like method or something like that. I think there's an ambulance or a police going by. What is it? I'm looking out my window to see. I hear sirens. Can you guys hear them? Probably. Here they go. Let's see what it is. It was an ambulance. I hope everyone is okay. It's headed towards the school. That always makes me so nervous when I see an ambulance headed in the direction that my children are. But anyways, um, it's kind of like a luxury spray because it is a little bit more expensive and it's not, to me anyways, my opinion, it's not really like a big deal cleaning spray. Like I wouldn't use this if I was cleaning up after I made fried chicken, for example. But I clean my countertops probably five times a day. And I think that it's nice just to like lightly clean them and make them smell like you're not make your count. I mean, I guess it makes your countertop smell good, but like it makes the room smell really good. And it's just an experience. I will also use this on my end tables and coffee tables periodically as well. You can also use it on your bathroom counters if you want, again, just for like a light cleaning, like maybe you've deep cleaned the day before, but you want to freshen everything up. Maybe you got some makeup on the counter and you want to freshen it up. This would be what I would use. So if you are interested in it, I will try to remember to link it. But if I forget, it's just the Caldrea countertop spray. And this is the linen spray that I use as well all of the time. Now I am folding my cleaning rags and while I'm doing this, I'm listening to Annie Elise on Tinder Life. It's a YouTube channel and I've been addicted to her channel here lately, which maybe it's like becoming a little bit unhealthy because I don't know, it's kind of increasing my anxiety, but she just talks about true crime and I, I like her style and how she um, goes about it and organizes her videos and whatnot, but she just talks about some old cases and some new cases and she'll come on and update you if there's like a breaking, um, 
in, like breaking information that comes out. For example, I've been following the Idaho college murders and she's been keeping me up to date on what's going on with that. But that's what I was listening to. And it's just helped me lately to get through my chores. So if I'm folding laundry, even when I'm like putting my makeup on, I will turn her channel on and listen to her videos. If you are still here, I appreciate it, first of all. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up as well. But I have some bonus footage at the end of this video for you before the behind the scenes. As always, there are still behind the scenes in this one, but I do have some bonus footage for you as well. So hopefully you will stay tuned for that. I didn't get as much cleaning done in this video as I do in a lot of my videos and that's because my son got sick. He caught something from school and so I was tending to him. I, in fact, when he woke up from his nap from where I'm filming in this video, he woke up with a fever and he had a fever for two days. So I was dealing with that and then also my husband was gone for a work trip and he had gotten back this weekend, this past weekend. and. Um, I obviously was spending time with him and just enjoying his company and having him home. So I had actually planned on filming a little bit more to add to this video and it did not end up happening. So this is it for this video. I just needed to tidy in here and I wanted to use the vacuum on our brand new carpet. It's so fun to vacuum carpet in general, but brand new carpet, it's even better. I love vacuuming. I've said this before, but it is my favorite chore. So vacuums are my favorite thing. I get so excited. I would probably love to own every vacuum there is and switch between using them all. And I know that might sound crazy, but I'm dead serious. But if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Like I said, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment, share this video with friends and family if you think they might like cleaning videos as well, or maybe they're in the market for a new vacuum. Send this video to them. I will have links in the description box. If I missed anything, comment and let me know and I will send you the link and I will see you guys next week. All right, so I just got a package from Fossil. So I ordered this purse and I'm so excited to open it. I have Mandy, my best friend on Marco right now. She's going to be watching me open it because she's the one who showed me about this purse. She said that, um, she got it and she showed it to me and she, ow, I just stabbed myself. She had a coupon for it. So it was on sale and there was a coupon and the print is just so adorable. And I'm a handbag girl. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it and I ordered it and it came right away. So I'm going to unbox it now for you guys and for Mandy. She's down here. Oh my God. It's so cute. It's even cuter in person. 
Oh my gosh. So this is called the Rachel Satchel and this is the heart pattern. So they have this satchel in a bunch of different colors and a few different patterns. But this particular one is why I wanted the bag. So this, this print, fossil is like, fossil notes. What's that? What do I hear? Is that a baby? I don't know, Hank's coffin or that's a dog barking or what? I heard something. They really like have plastic on it. Hold please, be right back. All right, so this is it. It took me literally five minutes to get all that plastic off. But this is like, it's like a canvas. And this is the tan with little white hearts. And then you have like a cream with black hearts. And then you have a pocket here and here, which Mandy down here says that my phone is gonna fit right into. So I'm excited to try that. But I do love how the zippers open like this. So I, I'm assuming you can go both, yeah, you can take them both to one side or you can just open them like that. And I really like them. They stuff this to the max. Oh, look how big it is. See the zippers go down to the side here so that it opens up really wide, but it does have, I guess they call that a gusset. Is that what they call that, a gusset? I gotta say bye to Mandy here for a second on polo and I'm gonna try to slide my phone in there. I'll be right back, Mandy. It does slide right down in there. And I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, so it's the big phone. Obviously, you can carry it like this, or you have the shoulder strap. The only thing, I really like a thick shoulder strap, but this is more meant to be like where you can wear it as a crossbody. Let me see if I can put you guys down so you can see there. This is more meant so you can wear it like a crossbody and sometimes I even wear it in the back like that so that I don't have anything here because I'm carrying a baby on my hip or whatever. The wallet, you can get the matching wallet on Amazon too. You, you can get this on Amazon as well. But if you get it on Fossil's website, there was a coupon and there might still be. So if I can find the coupon or if you guys want the coupon, comment below and I will give it to you if I can find it. Okay, I promise I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mandy, look, um, you're, uh, she's upset that, oh, here, let me move this up. She's upset that we didn't leave her on Marco to put her in the pocket because she wanted to know how that went. So Mandy's on Marco. You can't see her, but she's there, and I'm going to put her in the par pocket. Hopefully, it doesn't hang up on you. Here you go, Mandy. You want to see what it's like in there? Let me know what it's like in there, if I can get you in there. Okay, bye-bye. Is it dark? in there. Come over the thing and tell us what it's like in there. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I can't. What I just realized too, it kind of matches my phone case. You can't see. Sorry, you're get, she's getting a close up of my face like, Ooh. but um, it matches my phone case. Mr. Dallas.
Tonight we